you guys so uh, today we are going to get a look at some of the heavy hitters from the Force Friday haul uh, of course that would be the six inch Ray speeder and the six inch inch Luke speeder here as well uh, complete with the figures and other accessories so we're gonna get a look at both of these you know how I like to do it I like to double dip uh, on these reviews uh, why just do one uh, when you can do both. Uh, you've seen reviews on these individually. Let's get a look at them together right All now. right, you guys. So we're going to get a look at both boxes. We're going to get a 360 spin. Need to do this real quickly so we don't have a long video here. So let's get started. Getting a look at the front of the box here. Uh, we have a diagram uh, of her uh, speeder here. Uh, some information there, uh, a sketch of the uh, speeder along with Ray, uh, a look at uh, the speeder itself on its stand there. Uh, we have Ray uh, on the inside, uh, which if I'm not mistaken, uh, this is a different variant of Ray uh, here, uh, complete with the goggles, uh, hood, and, and the, the uh, cowl, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't know the, the correct description for it. Uh, that's around her neck there uh, and then of course she has the brown gloves on uh, here as well so very cool uh, awesome and then of course here at the top we have a look uh, at the figure and the speeder itself together so very cool uh, artwork on the front of the box and then to get a look at the side we get a real cool sketch of Ray there uh, on the side of the box and then getting a look at the back, more photos of the uh, speeder and the character or the figure itself here. Uh, it also uh, shows you the uh, scavenge parts that she has here uh, on her speeder in the net there, very cool. Uh, we also have uh, certain uh, compartments that open up and we will get a look at all of that uh, as well. Again, the figure there uh, in the top corner. Uh, and then we also have uh, other uh, parts uh, of the uh, vehicle that can be accessed uh, on the vehicle. So very cool, uh, really nice uh, imagery on the back of the box here. And then of course, we have Ray's uh, information here, her speeder's information, and then Ray's information right there. And then of course, this is uh, Black Series 03 uh, in the six inch Black Series uh, uh, line for our vehicle. So uh, absolutely cool. And then again, on the other side of the box, uh, we have the 03 right there. So absolutely awesome information uh, on the box. Let's get a look at Luke now. So getting a look at Luke uh, and his speeder, the box here, uh, again, a diagram uh, of the speeder itself, uh, the car the figure and the uh, speeder there, uh, and, uh, and the image of the speeder right there. Of course, we have a sketch artwork here of Luke in his speeder, uh, very cool. And then of course, uh, we have uh, another picture of the speeder there at the bottom and then our figure Luke Skywalker complete with all of his uh, Tatooine accessories so uh, absolutely cool uh, and absolutely awesome getting a look at the side of the box again we get uh, some sketch artwork of Luke uh, in his uh, de Tatooine desert gear uh, complete with his uh, uh, binoculars uh, where if you saw the deleted scenes you know he's actually uh, using those to look up uh, at the uh, battle that's going on above Tatooine, which involves his sister and his father uh, that he does not know about. So very cool uh, to get all of those accessories available here with the speeder. And then of course, on the back of the box again, uh, we have the uh, speeder pictured here. Uh, we have uh, the compartments that can be accessed on the speeder in the back there. Uh, the hood on the speeder also opens up uh, another picture of the speeder here. And then of course we have Luke uh, in his uh, normal uh, outfit that we know him in, uh, the farm boy outfit. And then of course we have the Tatooine Desert gear there as well. And then of course here we get information in regards to his speeder and then of course information on Luke himself. So very cool, very awesome uh, information. Again, uh, his uh, box number is going to be 02 uh, in the Black Series line 
for our vehicle. So very, very awesome looking boxes for these two figures. All right, and then getting a look at the figure itself, a uh, very cool figure. Uh, pretty much what we got in the uh, with the other uh, figure in the uh, six inch line here for Black Series, but this may be a different variant. If I, as I mentioned earlier, um, I'm, I have to go back and look at the original. I'm not sure if it comes with uh, the whole uh, headpiece here. Uh, and then the uh, mask right there, which is removable on this figure. I don't recall that on the original. And then again, guys, as I mentioned, the uh, mask is removable. I'm gonna uh, remove it here. So the mask is removable. And if you look very closely, right underneath her chin, uh, there's a little slot right there. Uh, and then uh, getting a look at the mask itself, uh, as you can see, there is the mask. If you look underneath there, guys, you can see that little uh, notch right there that would fit into that slot that goes underneath her chin. You simply place the, the notch into the little slot right there and uh, the mask fits right on perfectly. It doesn't fall off. At least mine hasn't fallen off and uh, she's good to go. So very, very cool additional so, feature. Uh, again, I believe this is a new uh, variant or a new mold uh, for this figure. So very, very cool. Uh, one of the other uh, additions that I really like on this particular figure is the backpack itself. Um, and her little shoulder guard that's right there. Um, now, we know that that shoulder guard is a separate piece from the backpack, but it's actually molded with the backpack and fits right on her arm as if she's wearing it separate from the backpack. So I thought that was a really nice touch uh, and a nice addition to the accessories uh, on this figure. And then getting a look uh, at the backpack itself, very good te detail, water bottle, uh, and other accessories there uh, in the backpack, which are not removable, guys, in case you're wondering. Uh, and then, of course, she has another bag there, uh, which does not open uh, if you are wondering about that as well. And then we have some uh, very good soft uh, goods here. Um, and then the, the, also a, a soft good there uh, with the little skirt. Uh, right. And the pants underneath, guys, are a plastic mode, uh, as you can see. So uh, very, very cool, very, very nice figure. Uh, to go along with your uh, speeder. Uh, so we're gonna get a look uh, at the figure on the speeder. And all just right, go guys, so we got her all on the vehicle, looking very cool, very, very nice. Uh, as you can see, uh, awesome looking vehicle. Uh, again, so very, very cool, all on the inside. Uh, if you guys notice here, um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a peg uh, on the pedals there, and you can see it in between her foot uh, and the pedal. Uh, so very cool that they provided you with pegs there. Uh, and then of course the uh, handlebars uh, here uh, do move back and forth so you can position those uh, as needed. And then also uh, these uh, wings uh, right here, uh, they do uh, move back and forth so you can move those and adjust the, those as needed for your posing uh, positions. Uh, so very, very cool, very, very awesome uh, with the figure on the vehicle. And then getting a look at the uh, vehicle itself and all of its uh, compartments, uh, you have this particular compartment here that exposes the engine right there. A very, very awesome, very, very cool. And then on the other side is a uh, compartment here that opens up and exposes the engine there. And then if we flip it back around to the other side, and I love that stand, how it allows it to slide across the desk there. So I, can, uh, I don't need a, a spinner for this thing. Um, but if you pull this open, the whole piece comes off and then it exposes the whole engine. And let's get you guys a good look uh, at that detail on the engine on the inside. So there is all of the detail uh, for the engine compartment uh, on the inside right there. So very, very cool. Very, very awesome. And then you also have uh, her junk pile or her scavenged parts here uh, on the side. And we're going to get a look at that as well. I'm going to pull this netting off and it's very cool because the, the netting, uh, the net is uh, removable if you wanted to remove it and uh, it pulls down and you can see all of her scavenged parts here and uh, the scavenged parts, they're, they're, it's all one mode uh, here. They're not individual pieces. It's just one big molded jumble mesh of parts um, and they actually plug into the side uh, of the vehicle so you can just insert it there. Uh, and it, it's uh, stick stuck right to the side of the vehicle. And then of course, uh, once you got it there, you can uh, replace your netting uh, there for it and uh, you're all set. So very, very cool, very, very awesome. 
uh, with the netting. And then, of course, her weapon, uh, just like on Luke's speeder, uh, would go right on the side there. It fits right in the little hooks there for the net. And there you go. You're all set and, and raised, ready to go, ready to roll uh, there. So very, very awesome, very, very cool. And then uh, also uh, this piece it snaps right back in real nicely, real neatly. And there it is. You're good to go. She's ready to roll and ready to get uh, back on the sand. All right, you guys. So now it's time for the big daddy, the original, the land speeder of all land speeders right here. Um, guys, I am so happy to have this um, in my collection because, like, as I mentioned earlier, it was uh, one of uh, my most wanted vehicles uh, from the Star Wars universe, uh, and I never got it. Um, not the vintage, not the 90, uh, never got it. This is my very first one, uh, Land Speeder, and um, I, I love it. It's absolutely amazing. Um, very, very happy to have this thing uh, right here. So uh, awesome, awesome looking vehicle, as you guys can see. Got a 360 spin of it. Um, love the uh, weathering on here. Uh, perfectly done here by Hasbro. Good job with this. Um, get a look on the inside of the uh, vehicle. So there you have all of your instrument panels, uh, shifter, a uh, couple of uh, uh, gauges there, and uh, your seats there, and a little small, a little small storage space in the back there. And then, um, as we had noted earlier, uh, these two compartments do open on the vehicle. That's one there, uh, exposing the engine. I want to get you guys a good look at that. So that is the first compartment uh, that opens. And then our other compartment uh, that opens, it's just simply storage space there. It looks like a couple of little lockers uh, on the inside there. So very, very cool uh, right there. And then also, the uh, obviously the hood would also open here. Very opens very easily, exposes the engine and all of the parts on the inside. So awesome, awesome look right there. And then of course it has its stand uh, underneath there uh, to give it that floating uh, look uh, as it's uh, going across the Tatooine Desert. So a uh, very, very cool uh, vehicle. Love the look of this vehicle. Um, and let's get a look at Luke himself. Now, uh, obviously this is no different than the uh, farm boy Luke that we uh, already received um, for the uh, 40th anniversary. Uh, comes with the binoculars. Uh, comes with the poncho, the uh, additional hat with the uh, goggles molded onto the hat. Uh, so the goggles are not separate uh, there, guys, in case you're wondering. Um, and then, of course, it also comes with his rifle, uh, which uh, you can put on the vehicle, as we had talked about earlier. So very, very cool. And then he also comes with his lightsaber. Uh, I didn't pull that out, um, even though I'm very happy that they provided us with the lightsaber. But obviously, at this point, uh, in the original trilogy, he did not uh, have that saber yet. He had not uh, run into Obi-Wan uh, or R2-D2 or uh, C-3PO for that matter. So um, it's cool that they uh, provided it for you with this figure, um, but it's it's not uh, totally accurate uh, to this point uh, of the uh, uh, original trilogy or uh, A New Hope. So um, still cool nonetheless. I love the binoculars. Uh, and as you can see, you can have him uh, looking through the binoculars if you want to do that uh, as well. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get him to look uh, straight up uh, with those binoculars uh, as if he was looking uh, up towards the sky. Uh, unfortunately, the articulation in the uh, head doesn't allow him to look uh, straight up. Uh, that's what I would rather have him do here as opposed to uh, looking uh, out uh, towards the horizon as he's doing there, but um, still cool nonetheless. Um, but I would really like to get him in that uh, deleted scene pose where he's uh, looking up uh, at the, uh, everything that's going on uh, in the sky, which is, again is his sister and father uh, battling it out uh, for the Death Star plans that R2-D2 would later on uh, deliver to Obi-Wan Kenobi. So uh, very, very cool. Uh, love this figure. Uh, obviously, again, it is the same figure that we received in the 40th anniversary uh, package. So, uh, very, very awesome. Love the accessories. Let's get his hat off of him. Uh, get a look at the head scope itself. So, uh, really, really cool. A uh, little chubby face there, uh, for the head scope. Um, 
I mean, not bad, uh, but it, it, it's a little, uh, little chubby for uh, our uh, Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, but uh, still cool nonetheless. And then you can see uh, his belt underneath there uh, and his original uh, gear uh, there, his farm boy gear. Uh, so very, very cool. And again, guys, the, the poncho is removable. Uh, so if you want to pose him in farm, farm boy gear, uh, you can most definitely do that. Um, so very, very cool here. And we're going to get Luke uh, inside right, of this. you guys. So we got Luke all inside the vehicle, ready to go. He's on his way to uh, Tashi Station to go pick up some power converters or whatever it is uh, that he's going to do. We know he's not going to pick up any power converters. He was just going to go hang out with the boys and have a couple of drinks. But he didn't want to tell Uncle Owen that. Uh, he, he's lying about those power converters uh, that he was trying to go get. He was really going to get some drinking uh, going on and probably... Uh, do a little mingling with the ladies uh, that were at the bar. If you saw the deleted scene, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but still, very cool. Uh, we got our figure on the inside there. Uh, looks really, really awesome. Let's get you guys a look at him uh, on the inside there. As you can see, I have him there uh, holding the steering wheel and uh, one hand over the shifter. Um, I would suggest uh, that if you're going to pose him, uh, on the inside of the vehicle, uh, holding the steering wheel. Perhaps you want uh, both hands on the steering wheel. Uh, you are going to have to remove uh, the, the uh, windshield there uh, because it is a very tight fit uh, to it, it, for you to get your hands in there to, to uh, try and pose his hands uh, as you would want them on the steering wheel or on the shifter. Uh, but the good thing that uh, Hasbro has done here for us is this uh, glass is very easily removed um, you just simply squeeze it here. It comes out of the little uh, inserts that are there. And then there's a little insert in the front. You easily remove it, do uh, your work that you need to do to pose the figure. And then you simply place the uh, windshield back over it. And voila, you're all ready to go. Figure pose, ready to go, traveling across the Tatooine Desert. So uh, absolutely cool. I love this thing right here. Um, I would almost venture to say that this might be my prized possession from uh, Force Friday 2, um, simply because this is a vehicle that I've always wanted. Um, and that not only have they, have they given it to us, but they've given it to us uh, in a six inch scale, uh, which is absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this thing uh, in my hand, guys. I mean, awesome, awesome looking vehicle. But uh, obviously, guys, I want to know what your thoughts are. Uh, have you picked up these vehicles? Will you be picking up these vehicles? Um, please leave those comments down below. Uh, and any uh, experience that you may have uh, with the, uh, either one of these vehicles, um, I definitely would recommend right. you guys. So we're going to get some shout outs here on the channel. Uh, the channel has been slowly growing, but we are growing, uh, getting very close to 500 subscribers. So I want to thank all of my subscribers. Uh, everyone who's commented, uh, everybody who has liked my videos, I really want to thank you guys very much uh, for all of your support. So um, we're going to uh, shout out those subscribers that uh, have come on in the last month. Uh, so we are going to start with Phil Wilson, uh, who subscribed a month ago, uh, and then Power of the Force 2 uh, also su uh, subscribed a month ago. And I, I want to encourage you guys to go check out Power of the Force 2's channel. Uh, he is a YouTuber, a great YouTuber. He does dioramas, similar content to what I have here on the channel. So I want you guys to go and check him out uh, as well. I know you're going to enjoy what he has uh, as well. And then uh, shout out to Johnny. Uh, we have Rick Jean 35, Warren Weiserman, uh, Little Goons, John Janchi, Martin Ritterman. His, and forgive me if I mispronounce any of the names here. His his son, uh, music knowledge one, C M Skywalker, another YouTuber that I would like you guys to go check out. Uh, we have Sophia and Malika Ladoza. Uh, we have four twenty reactions. Uh, Quentin Pullen, Connor Caliph, Patrick O'Malley, David Gallagher, Stan Yuen. Tech, Techno Juju, Loren, uh, Loren Marie, Jen Next Seven, Mark Truitt, Tony Marvel Legends, Fan, Fanic or, Orgic, 
uh, forgive me if I mispronounce that, uh, Arthur D. Arcosis Jr., uh, Demetrius Devil, James Stephan, Cheryl Morris, Angle Rockstar, Reborn Trooper 83, shout out to you, sir, Sunspot Reviews. Uh, now, these next guys coming up uh, are my uh, Action Figure Sanctuary Brothers. Uh, so we're going to a special shout out uh, to these guys. Uh, Sunspot Reviews, Smith Super Awesome Reviews, KJW2149, Block, uh, uh, forgive me, Blunkers Videos and Collectibles, Collecting My Thoughts, another YouTuber, shout out to you, sir. Joseph Michaels, Made in England, Dylan Hob uh, Hobday, forgive me if I mispronounce that, Jacob Doyle, Ken Wainwright, SoCal Collector, shout out to you, sir, another YouTuber, uh, and then we have Brian Lawrence, Amy M McMillan, uh, Mar 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 Marquick, uh, Eula, uh, and I hope I, have, I didn't mispronounce that, uh, King Clarity, Gregory Minter, Mike Traveris, Mohammed Ifren, Chris McDaniel, Jessica Vesper, and King of Wales. And then I have a couple of an, uh, additional shout outs. Uh, I want to shout out Martin Anderson, a frequent uh, commenter uh, on the uh, video. So I want to thank you very much, Martin, uh, for that. Uh, David McFadden, uh, Dark Super Alex 66. Uh, thank you, sir, uh, for uh, watching the videos and commenting. Uh, special shout out to Memphis Dale. Uh, I've uh, conversated with you a couple of times. Uh, on the uh, channel, so I want to thank you very much. Uh, Chad Miller as well. Uh, I want to thank you uh, for commenting on the videos as well. And then, uh, and, and I uh, forgive me if I mispron mispronounce this name, uh, but I believe it's Exoes, uh, E-X-E-O-Y-S. Uh, special shout out to you, sir. Um, he commented on the Luke Skywalker uh, one six scale video. Uh, and it mentioned that he would be uh, receiving his figure very soon. Uh, I asked him to come back uh, and uh, let me know what his thoughts were. And he did so today, uh, and, uh, stating that um, his figure had just came in. It's amazing. Uh, I love the whole thing. And the lack of accessories doesn't bother me at all. I have to say that this is my second favorite Hot Toys that I own. Uh, first place will always be my Rogue One Darth Vader. Uh, definitely agree with you on the Rogue One Darth Vader. That is uh, probably my top uh, Hot Toys figure. Um, and then uh, it kind of uh, trickles down from there. I have uh, the Bespin Luke set, which is another one of my favorites. Uh, the uh, Jakku uh, Finn uh, is another favorite figure of mine. Uh, the Boba Fett uh, in the one six scale is also uh, another favorite of mine as well. Uh, so, and then of course, uh, the force awakens Luke Skywalker would fall, uh, right in there with the, with those, so, uh, those are our new subscribers, uh, in the last month. And I want to thank all of you guys for coming on board. Uh, and, uh, I really hope you guys enjoy the content on the channel. If you guys have any questions or, uh, anything, uh, in regards to the channel stuff that you might want to see on the channel, uh, please leave those comments in the, uh, videos, uh, in the comments down below. And, uh, I will most definitely do my best, uh, to get to, uh, those comments and answer any questions that you may have. Um, so guys, I want to thank you very, very much for watching this review. I want to thank all of my subscribers on the road to 500 and then onward to a thousand that's the goal but from the father to the son to the obi-wan force ghost may the force be with you always